actually just 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 on that just just on that when i was uh neck deep in the fundamentalist charismatic faith um i used to have ear piercings and my pastor and his wife came up to me one day and said hey damien we'd like you to remove your piercings and one of the verses they quoted was that a particular verse because they equated having like a, a stud or a ring in your ear as a sign that you know that they equated that mm-hmm. to the verse where you know if you decide to be a slave then you know you get a a, a, a metal bolt put through your ear mm-hmm. and so are you Jewish? That said, i'm not no okay i did because that would have been my answer to them if they had come at me with some stuff even as a christian my response yeah. would be i'm not jewish so this doesn't apply uh and christ is my lord and savior and he freed us from the law yeah but you don't know what you're talking about give me your yeah the the problem the problem is in non-denominational charismatic churches the word of the pastor is 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 as if god himself spoke yeah yeah there is no you know no no, (laughs) correct there's no argument no talking back you know if you if you even go okay whatever you're you're seen as being rebellious and they use this verse, you know, do everything without grumbling or complaining right. as as a way of making sure that you do everything with a smile, yes sir, no sir, three bags full sir. Mm-hmm. Kind, kind, of, uh, kind of servitude. Let me talk to you about Leviticus for a moment. Leviticus Indeed. 25 in yes. particular. Leviticus Indeed. 25 verses 44 through 46 mm-hmm. specifically. Hit, hit me with them, baby. Your male and female slaves are to come from the nations around you. From them, you may buy slaves. You may also buy some of the temporary residents living among you and members of their clans born in your country, Mm -hmm. and they will become your property. You can bequeath them to your children as inherited property, and you can make them slaves for life. But you must not rule over your fellow Israelites ruthlessly. Um, Oh, yes. Doesn't uh... that kind of throw a huge monkey wrench in the whole servitude it's translated incorrectly it should be servant kind of thing argument well again when that sounds like a slave well when when the source of your morality has to win every argument you will find every way to weasel out of uh weasel out of uncomfortable situations and one of those weasel what's the weaseling out of this well you know like you know it, it wasn't really slavery oh the slaves were looked after the slaves learned to trade it wasn't really slavery it was servitude <laughs> it was servitude, yeah, that, those... but yeah that's what slavery is slavery is servitude <laughs> it, it's, especially it's like, when it's for life and exactly. you're passed on to you to the slave master's children as an inheritance that's it wasn't a it wasn't a slave it was more of a servant or like a slurvent or what, i mean something. what did they think the slaves did <laughs> they they literally served their masters there's indeed, no indeed. difference it's a synonym it, yes it is and this is uh, one of the uncomfortable things that you know i think we i would like christians to be a bit more honest about it you know that <laughs> you know yeah. the bible did indeed um yeah sanction slavery this is a this is a thing and, and look I, I don't know how much more time we have but there's a few more there's a few more verses i'd like to cover that sure. don't get there's a few don't more get... i'd like to cover too but i'm gonna let you cover the next oh. one and then i'll go after you Let, we, let's we do take, that it's a give and take we can take turns yay yes yeah exactly Deuteronomy uh, 20 verses 10 to 18 when you march up to attack a city make its people an offer of peace if they open and ex- uh, if they accept and open their gates, all the people in it shall be subject to forced labor and shall work for you. If they refuse to make peace and they engage you in battle, lay siege to that city. When the Lord delivers it into your hand, put to the sword all the men in it. As for the women, the children, the livestock, and everything else, you may take these as plunder for yourselves. Mm. So basically, uh, so this was um, in the entry towards the promised land. And what mm-hmm. God is saying here is to, you know, when you walk up to a city, make it make it an offer. Make it an offer it can't refuse, basically. And or if else. they <laughs> Yeah, exa- exactly. And this is, this is one of the things, you know, um, being able to walk away from uh, a deal without pain of death. And this is something right. that, you know, for example, yeah. could a could a Jew in the concentration camp walk away from? Could they walk away from the concentration camp without being killed? If they couldn't be killed or punished severely, then hey, it's it's slavery. But no. Uh, so in this verse, um, you walk up to a city, make it an offer. If they accept the offer, they are to be your slaves. 
because like force force labor what is force labor force labor is a euphemism a synonym a weasel word meaning slavery it is um possibly with the exception of if the forced labor is imposed by the state after a criminal conviction Mm, yeah that's however if we're talking about the prison system the prisoners aren't there to provide labor they just provide labor as a and they get paid for it as well and uh, priority is given to their health and health and well-being whereas in australia well, yes, yeah, sorry, yes, in Australia, I'm talking from, <laughs> from, 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 yes, because in this in this country of uh, gun control, uh, minimum wage, yeah. uh, government sponsored healthcare, we don't have very any little, of that shit. Very little separation <laughs> of church and state. You know? No, no, hell no, come on, this is America, this is America, America, fuck America. yeah, you know. All right, <laughs> Bible verses. Uh, Bible are we verses. done with the Old Testament? No, because I, I got to tell you. If I put my Christian hat back on and go mm-hmm. back to my apologetics days, I got to tell you, you know, that stuff was all in the Old Testament. Jesus did away with all of this nonsense. You know, the people, hey, hey, God, hey, had to have, God had to have rules for slavery because people were going to do it anyway, you know. And so he gave them rules. Because, oh, you've just hit another, you've, you just touched another nerve no, with that particular that doesn't, po- that doesn't work. No, okay. no. Stop, stop being an antipathic bastard. Where did I go wrong with this? Tell me, tell me what's uh, wrong with that argument. Well, hold on. Well, look, if God can make rules about murder, which was ubiquitous, ubiquitous in the ancient world, and about adultery, which was ubiquitous in the ancient world, and about mixed fabrics, which were ubiquitous, and about shellfish, yeah. which were also ubiquitous, yeah. you know, why does God need to take his softly, softly, softly approach to slavery? That's a good point. I mean, look, it, people were going to have dudes were going to have sex with dudes too if they mm. were gay. They were always going to do that, but they need yeah. to be killed. You know. Oh, indeed, yes. But and if people... and, and if you find if you find a town with an, with apostates in it, you kill the whole town and burn it to the ground. Yeah. So okay. So you're saying <laughs> that that you know God giving rules for slavery because people were going to do it anyway that doesn't really work when you start comparing it to some of the other things okay well shit Um, sorry buddy well how about Uh, hey also bryce um if if we're not under the old testament then why is homosexual homosexuality such a bad thing you know because paul doesn't like it we think i mean okay he he used a couple words that but that's his that's his problem man he's an apostle According okay. to him, that's his opinion, man. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, his opinion. are you har- are you harming anyone? Yeah, uh, are you, you're are harming you forcing- you're harming God. Except God can't be harmed. So dang, tell I don't, God I don't have to look. Up, tell God not to watch, unless God likes that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. God, the, the sexual sins in the Bible are always curious to me because it's like this is the, like the least harmful thing, unless it's rape, which coincidentally is 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 forgivable and not really punished very harshly at all in the Bible. No, and it's interesting it's interesting that God also it's interesting that God also makes laws about having sex with women on their periods. Because oh, that's yeah. all that's also a capital punish a capital crime as well. Yeah. That matters. That matters for reasons. Reasons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I try I trust um, you. All right. So um look, Christians are free from the law. You can, you can acknowledge that they were immoral commandments. Maybe they were misinterpreted. They were corrupted by men, whatever. But none of that matters because we're in the New Testament now. Jesus came. He and set what us free did Jesus say that. about slavery, man? Do you, do you have any of Jesus' words or Paul's words about slavery? Uh, well, I, I, I have heard Paul's words. Well, let's see what Paul has to say. Let's, let's see. Right. Ephesians 6, 5 through 8. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear and with sincerity of heart, just as you would obey Christ. Obey them not only to win their favor when their eye is on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. What the fuck? No. This, Paul, that, Paul, he, that, huh. Slaves, obey your masters. That is not slaves you know masters let your people go and don't own them as property that is <laughs> far from far from ending slavery this is a system to perpetuate it yeah all right well that's yeah that's kind of harsh i mean well let's see is that maybe maybe that one 
maybe we don't have to take that one. That's a standalone, right? Surely, oh, okay. Yeah. Surely. Uh, let's see. Colossians three twenty two to twenty four. Slaves, obey your masters in everything, and do it not only when their eye is on you and to cover their favor, but with sincerity of heart and reverence to the Lord. So this is something that they like to repeat. So how can this a, be? So, so be a slave and be a slave as if you were serving God Himself. Oh, this is getting uh, a yeah. this is getting a bit out of hand. Um, yes. hey, look, uh, can I try? Can I try one? Just as, yeah, uh, just see if right, I, right. See Um, First Timothy six. Um, all who are under the yoke of slavery should consider their masters worthy of full respect, so that God's name and our teaching may not be slandered. Oh shit! I mucked up on that one, didn't I? So that means this type of slavery is is good it's it's covering mm. favor with god that's yes, in the new testament that is and um just just on that i actually make a i actually make a point where um in first corinthians 5 uh paul finds out that a, a guy is you know in sexual relations with his stepmother and he actually commands that guy to be kicked out of the church and given to satan so it seems so it seems that having a uh, an inappropriate sexual relation relationship will offend God, but being a you know, but being a servant you know but being a slave doesn't offend God. No, no, it's just a yeah. You know, like Paul can come, Paul can throw the book at the guy you know having sex with his stepmom, but for for a guy who owns slaves, it's like mm, yeah. So c c carry on, you know. So the the New Testament, okay, it clearly seems to be endorsing slavery as well, but it but it's only talking about the kind of slaves who were good Christians and who treated their their slaves or their servants, whatever you want to call it, treated them well, treated them with respect, and you know, it's only justifying that type of slavery, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, well, wait a minute, First Peter. <laughs> Two, 18 and 9 slaves in reverent fear of god submit yourselves to your masters not only to those who are good and considerate but to the ones who are cruel oh uh, okay yeah so apparently the new testament is a piece of shit about slavery too mm. 